All right, so we're gonna give you guys a demonstration. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pump. We're gonna pump down this indoor system and our outdoor system. You gotta pump it up. You gotta pump this pump up. You can, you can see the, you can see the half horse, you can see the half horse pump really throws the water. All right, so we have an indoor sump basin. This is pretty common. You guys see it in a lot of the videos. You see a lot of guys trying to use them outdoors. I don't really recommend that. You know, I'm going to show you why. We're going to give you a good demonstration why. You know, we're going to do a series on, you know, sump pumps. We're going to do a series on the outdoor sump pump in particular, since that's kind of what we represent. All right, so if you want to learn about sump pumps and you want to know what is the right sump pump for your job, and if you're a contractor and you're trying to further your knowledge so that you can better yourself as a contractor, pay attention. Don't skip around. Don't try to jump around. Watch this video. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to explain to you how to read the GPM on a pump, and all the pump manufacturers have a chart showing you the head. The head is the height that you pump the water. Okay, that's what it's referred to as head. And some pumps drop off, and the higher they're pumping up the water, the more they're going to drop off. So I'm going to go to a chart. I want to go through these charts with you. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this model M53 Zoller sump pump. It's probably the most popular sump pump for basements and crawl spaces. It's a one third horsepower sump pump, and it does the job for indoor use without any problems. It's actually the pump of choice for our little micro bad seed that we ship in a box. But take a look at this. I want you to look at this. It flows up to 43 gallons per minute. That GPM stands for gallons per minute. So that's its, that is the highest right there. That is its highest under optimal conditions. Flow rate is 43 gallons. Now, it goes on to say in the spec sheets, you know, up to 19 feet. So um, we're going to look at the chart that Zoller Sump Pump Company gives us so that we can take a look at, as we pump higher, where we end up as far as with our GPM, gallons per minute. So here's a really nice chart that the Zoller Sump Pump Company gives us. Pump performance curve. We see at five feet high, if you look at the five foot, we're on the five foot line, we're at that optimal 43 gallons per minute. So this is what they call the total dynamic head. As they pump the water higher with the sump pump, you lose gallons per minute, the GPM. Now we'll bump it up from five feet ahead to 10 feet ahead. Take a look. We lose 10 gallons per minute. We go from 43 gallons per minute, that GPM, to about 33 gallons per minute in just a five foot difference in head. Now let's take a look at 15 feet. Look at 15 feet, go across to that curve. We dropped 20 gallons per minute at 15 feet. So for outdoor use, when you use a one-third horsepower, I recommend not discharging any further than 50 feet. And if you're trying to pump water uphill, you might want to rethink this and go to the half-horse sump pump outdoors. Now, when you go to the max that the pump is rated for, which is 19 feet, you can see you just fall right off like to two gallons per minute, it looks like. You know, if you stare at this chart, up here near, near this 20 feet of dynamic head, total dynamic head at 20 feet, it looks to be about two gallons. So we're going to take a look at the M98 half horse and compare it to this M53. This M53 with its max flow rate of 43 gallons per minute, but as you can see, as you increase the head, it just falls right off. It's fine for indoor use. It's the weapon of choice. But let's consider outdoor, where we're pumping water far and we're pumping water uphill. 
big difference. So let's take a look. You know, again, that's 43 gallons max flow rate at five feet. And you can just see how it just falls right off as you go to 10 and then 15. And especially when you get to the max, you know, that is rated at 19. I mean, you're just single digits you're pumping, single digit gallons per minute. So it's a big difference, a really big difference. You have to really pay attention, you know, to these pump performance curves, gallons here in the U.S. You know, we're, we're looking at the gallons per minute, the GPM. All right, so now that we know how to read these, let's go on to the M98 Zeller sump pump and take a look at that. And I'm also going to give you guys a performance test. We're going to put the M53 Zeller sump pump next to the M98 Zeller sump pump in an outdoor application. All right, let's go to the M98. All right, let's take a look at this graph showing the dynamic head for the M98 half horse Zoller sump pump. So you're going to notice right off the bat, this looks fantastic. I mean, 73 gallons at five feet ahead. That's awesome. So we're 30 gallons more than the one third horse. We're able to at five feet ahead pump 73 gallons per minute GPM. That is fantastic. Where the M53 one third horse, its max flow rate was 43. So again, when we go to 10 feet, we're seeing about the same pattern. We're going to lose about 10 gallons per minute. When we go up to 10 feet high, we're going to drop from 73 gallons per minute to 63. It looks like. Then let's go to 15 feet, see where that puts us. And you know, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here because the one third horse, that would be at 15 feet, 20 gallons per minute. I'm seeing a GPM of 45 gallons per minute here. That's pretty fantastic for 15 feet ahead. You know, you're pumping water uphill. You got, say, a 100 foot discharge line out to the street. I mean, this pump's going to perform really, really well when you're trying to push water a long ways or uphill. And also it has a higher max as far as for dynamic head, what it can actually pump. Instead of 19 feet, it looks like it's more like 23 feet. And yeah, you do finally, when you see this curve gallons per minute, you know, the gallons just drop right off. These pumps, when they get near that max, I mean, Zeller Pump Company is telling you, yeah, it'll keep pumping, it'll keep pumping, and keep pumping, and it's showing you the single digits. I mean, we're in single digits here, where you see that green line and that circle right there. That's single digits. So the half-horse pump is definitely the weapon of choice for most outdoor applications. And the M98 is a really, really good sump pump. You know, we use the M98 in most of our models. So let's get to a demonstration now. Let's show you these two perform side by side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this indoor sump basin with water. We already have the sump pump inside the basin. We've been getting rained on through this whole thing too as well. All right, so So we got a lot of head. We put a lot of head on ours. We're over 20 feet tall on ours. And I'll explain why. We'll get to that. So I'm going to I'm going to let this run down. Now, I always teach you guys the more head and that's the lift. The more head the less water per minute it's gonna pump, okay? So, we got a, a half horse here. We got a one third horse here. Can you see the stream difference? Same head. So actually, the half horse is higher. The, the half horse is a few feet higher. And look at the, look at the flow. Because of the lift, I mean, the half horse is going to pump more anyways, but it's not going to be taxed under 
that much head. It's not going to be taxed under the lift as much as the one-third horse. So it's taking forever to pump out this this little... Uh... All right, so imagine this. You're pumping 100 feet, maybe even more, but let's just say 100 feet for round numbers. And you have an incline. Say the incline is only a few feet to get some water up and out of a backyard. Usually that's a minimum of three feet from the bottom of the sump pit. What's going to happen when you're pushing 100 feet and you've got water in a discharge line that you are pushing 100 feet? You're going to slow that pump right down. The gallons per minute are going to drop right off. So this series is going to teach you so much about sump pump systems. And because we are the outdoor sump pump guys, we're definitely going to spend a lot of time teaching you what are the do's and don'ts to an outdoor sump pump system. All right, so we're pumping all the water. We're pumping all the water out of their traditional <laughs> basin. <laughs> oh my god oh my god demonstration gone wrong man <laughs> good stuff good stuff oh jeez.